Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a review for Legacy of Fire, How the Carrying King. Uh, this is a uh, adventure path that has a very uh, distinct um, Arabian feel to it. So as far as some references that you can use, um, some uh, what things you can study to try and uh, bring those themes out in a very strong way. Um, you can use the Prince of Persia, you know, the movie, the games, maybe the very beginning of Assassin's Creed. You could uh, maybe Game of Thrones with the other side of the world with uh, Khaleesi, these certain uh, groups that she uh, encounters there. But the Prince of, Prince of Persia was the one uh, theme that really stood out that you can uh, use as a reference for when you go about running this very uh, strong Arabian feel to it. On the inside front cover of each of the uh, AP books, there's a uh, story here. And on the Paizo boards, you can uh, check out the audio files. Someone used a very strong accent, uh, sort of very like Aladdin kind of a feel to it when they read this off. And you can play that for your players for each of the um, books. And the story uh, is segmented, it's broken up amongst the books, but uh, it's all joined and it brings a lot of insight into the main villain of the group or the main set uh, evil pieces of this uh, adv adventure path. I'll see if I can uh, link that for you. Very good audio files. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, background music for it and just a very commanding and strong voice for it. And when you play those to your group, it could be like someone's from the uh, merchant group uh, saying this to you maybe on a very cold night with this mercenary merchant group that you're traveling with to uh, Cal Moraine. And as far as the composition party makeup of your group, I would highly suggest, strongly recommend the Null as a player character. You could look up the uh, advanced race guide uh, go into the back of the book with the race builder section. There is a static version of the null. It's used as a example, so it's not uh, an official uh, static block. But they give you uh, all the elections that you would make for creating that null, so you could use that if you want. Otherwise, I'll post mine. It's uh, very distinct, very unique. It's similar to what they presented in the Advanced Race Guide, but I have a lot of alternate racial traits. I believe I added a few null feats. Uh, lots and lots of flavor. Very, very distinct, very unique. For those that really want to immerse themselves in a story, that would reward them greatly. And it would not be overpowered. You'll see in these books... Knolls are a big feature of this, and having maybe one knoll as a player character, maybe that person was a former slave, or they are a slaver, maybe they go around killing knolls for uh, Cat to Pesh. So you could have those sort of story generate generators to that uh, player character. Uh, going through the book now, uh, Genies, uh, story by behind those uh, that takes a front seat into this. A Suli character might be nice. 
uh, maybe one of the other elemental uh, treated uh, half humans like the uh, sylphs, the um, undines and such. You can, you know, player character uh, would probably benefit from one of those as well. But the uh, story is very intriguing. We they even introduced these optional. Um, things that you can get in the player's guide. I would call them like video game achievements. When you get burned so many times, you get this like fire resistance, or I call them like vi video game ach achievements that you would like get on like playing like a Xbox game. So if you you know do something such as healing somebody so many times, or uh, getting set on fire, or you get. Uh, near death so many times you get these you unlock these uh, unique uh, they're kind of like traits so that's very interesting you can incorporate that in there um, and they also have these campaign traits as far as why you're with this group to retake this settlement has become abandoned uh, a haunting mystery surrounds it as to why um, the people left it and why you have to go back and reclaim it again. It has a very uh, Prince of Persia theme, maybe uh, those three Mummy Returns uh, books. You can use some of that, or movies, I should say, not, 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 not books. Uh, Interesting NPCs. When you get to the monastery and such, there's some unique encounters there. The maps are quite nice, and of course, the damned Bogwampi makes his presence there to horrify an effect of your group. That unluck roll is devastating for your low level uh, group. I like them. They're great. They're fun. Some of the uh, encounters leading up to them are quite nice. Reminds me a lot of the just the kind of uh, chaoticness of the goblins. Uh, really shines with these. Uh, but there's quite a lot of good combat in here. Uh, interesting option for a mold speaker. So you can already see some things take shape uh, that root the players. Some of the players become evolved due to events that transpire here. Uh, it's about reclaiming, about taking back. And at the same time, you're going to know the big, huge, big, bad, whatever, bad guy, uh, the entire AP uh, early on. You don't know that he's the big bad guy or whatever, but you get to be slowly introduced to that person through the lore, through the stories and such, and uh, it's a very story-driven uh, adventure path in my own opinion. The flavor is very rich. The aesthetic, you can feel that with the Arabian uh, type of uh, cast of uh, monsters and unique um, architecture that you would see here. Um, I'd almost say you could try to use something like a half undead player character too, uh, kind of reminiscent of what uh, if you saw um, Clash of the Titans, that the one group with the blue orb eyes and the skeletal frame. I'd almost say one of those player characters would be a unique uh, companion to the rest of the group. Um, there's a really nice map here called the Battle Market. I actually made a 3D uh, version of that the, uh, actual map. And all my experiences with Legacy Fire was with a local group. 
Uh, hopefully yours will be a lot better than mine. I mean, the AP was outstanding, but uh, my players were not. Eventually I moved on to an uh, online group and benefited greatly from that, but uh, local groups you run that problem of just getting a couple bad seeds and uh, germinating and festering and just taking over and the uh, fun is not what you thought it was having previously experienced it from many years of uh, gaming so uh, there's a big presence of different monstrous humanoids in this and a lot of story driven environments Lots of screaming upstairs. Uh, what I liked about Legacy of Fire, Adventure Path, uh, is that in each of the books they give you uh, optional um, adventure to run. Uh, you either use it as some sort of side quest in, or maybe something you smack in the middle of your AP. But uh, they give you optional things that you can do. Uh, different adv adventure hooks and things that go on because when you complete this book about a year or so goes by until like the next book since you're kind of reclaiming this uh, town and the uh, structures are being rebuilt and you sort of take a predominant authority within that town so there's some nice little things in the back of the book here that you can uh, run as additional uh, uh, in encounters and such. And as far as the bestiary, there is a huge list of random encounters around Kel Marine that you can use. Um, I kind of like the Chupacabra. You can have that haunt the uh, uh, emergence of the town's uh, civilized Areas again, and maybe this is one sort of sort of pestilent creature you have to get rid of. Um, the divs, it's a group of monsters there. You can use those. The gre the gremlins. There's a few different types you can incorporate those. Just a bugwampi, and um. That's really all I got for this one. 3.5, so I mean you can you know convert it if you want. Um, stay tuned for the next other uh, reviews I do for this particular AP. I'll have some more things to talk about in there, but uh, I would suggest just kind of a a quick review again. Uh, a null would be good. Um, Half Undead sort of a thing might be unique. Uh, Magus would probably be a nice touch into this um, AP. Maybe they're the ones that are the, maybe that's the mold speaker. Uh, or the one that has the uh, the uh, blade anyway. You can feature as the, as the black blade if they be, happen to be a black blade. Blade, Ma uh, Magus, so. Um, Yeah, that's all I got. So uh, stay tuned. I'll try to link the um, audio files and then the uh, null stats as well. So thank you. See ya.